going to learn how to write 2 minus x, 1 minus x minus x to the power 2, which is equal to Lx, which is the generating function for Lucas numbers, as two fractions. So I want to write this as a over something plus b over something. And these some things are going to be the factors. These two will be the factors of 1 minus x minus x to the power 2. So let's factor 1 minus x minus x squared first. We are going to factor a negative 1. So I can write this as x to the power 2 plus x minus 1. Since I cannot factor x squared plus x minus 1, I use the quadratic formula. And this becomes minus 1. This is 1 here. So that's why I get a minus 1 here. Plus minus. Again, 1 to the power 2 minus 4 times a times c. a is 1, and c is also negative 1. So it's going to be 4 times 1 times negative 1, and then 2 times a. So we get minus 1 plus minus. 1 squared is 1, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, 1 and 4 is 5, divided by 2. So then I can write 1 minus x minus x to the power 2, which is negative 1 times x to the power 2 plus x minus 1. We can write it as minus 1 x negative, negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And x plus or minus again, minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I had 2 minus x over 1 minus x minus x to the power 2. We factored a negative 1 here. So we get 1 minus x minus x to the power. Oops. We get minus 1 x to the power 2 minus x plus x minus 1. If I multiply top and bottom by negative 1 over negative 1, we get x minus 2 divided by, so negative 1 gets multiplied by uh, top, gives us x minus 2, and negative 1 gets multiplied by the bottom, and that gives us x squared plus x minus 1. Now I can write x minus 2 over x squared plus x minus 1 as a over x. And take a note here, if I distribute this negative and this negative, and I'm going to write this first for a, so a becomes, a has the following denominator, this one, x plus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And then b is going to have these factors. x negative times negative is positive 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So, when we are doing partial fraction, we multiply top and bottom of a with this denominator. 
I mean, multiply top and bottom of the second term with A's denominator. And then we cancel the denominators from both sides. So we get X minus two is equal to A times X plus one minus the square root of five over two. And then B is going to have that denominator, X plus one over square root of five over two. Because we cancel the denominators from both sides. If I multiply the first term by this denominator and multiply the second term with this denominator, then I can cancel the denominators from both sides and this is what you're left with. So we are going to take x to be per se minus one minus the square root of five over two. So when I substitute it here, this term will become zero. I'm just putting opposite of that for x. So this term becomes zero, but we have to plug it in here and in here. So a, a term is gone, but on this side we have minus one half, and I distribute this negative. I get plus the square root of five over two is equal to minus two, sorry, this is this is the left side, and then we put it on the right side. I'm just distributing this negative. Plus, I'm going to write this as one over two plus the square root of five over two. So, one half and one half cancel each other. I add these two of their like terms. So we get the square root of five, B. And here, when I add these two, minus one half and minus two, it gives me minus three over two plus, oh, I'm sorry, uh, two can be written as four over two. So minus one half minus two is going to be minus five over two. And this is a square root of five over two. So we divide both sides by square root of five to solve for B. We get a square root of five minus five half over square root of five gives us minus a square root of five over two. A square root of five over two divided by five gives us one half. That's B. We also do the same thing. This time we are going to let X equal to minus or positive minus one plus the square root of five over two because we want to plug it in here to get rid of the B term to solve for A. So we get minus, I distribute the negative, plug it in for X. So we get negative one half minus the square root of five over two minus two is equal to A times, and then we plug it in here, we get minus one half minus the square root of five over two plus that, and I write that as two terms, And again, we simplify these two cancel each other. Minus one half and minus two is minus five over two. Minus the square root of five over two is equal to A times, when we add these two, we get minus two of these, which is minus the square root of five. We divide by minus the square root of five. So we get A is equal to um, when we divide these two, negative and negative gives us positive. 
the square root of 5 over 2 after we rationalize it. And when we divide these two, we get positive 1 over 2. So then we can write x minus 2 over x to the power 2 plus x minus 1 as a is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 divided by x plus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And b is equal to minus the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 divided by x plus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, because we want to turn this eventually um, into a geometric series, I want to write both fractions in a form of 1 over 1 minus r. So if I want to turn this to a 1 and this to a 1, I need to multiply top and bottom by the reciprocal. So I have to multiply top and bottom of the first term by 2 over square root of 5 plus 1, and this one by 2 over square root of 5 plus 1, and multiply this one by 2 over 1 minus the square root of 5, and 2 over 1 minus the square root of 5. So we get x minus 2 is equal to x squared plus x minus 1. So when I multiply this by its reciprocal, I get 1. When I multiply these two, I will also get 1. So I get 1 plus that times x, 2 over square root of 5 plus 1 times x. And when I multiply these two, again, since they're reciprocal of each other, I get 1. And since these two are reciprocal of each other, I get 1 plus 2 over square root of 5 plus 1x. Last, we are going to rationalize these two. So to rationalize 2 over square root of 5 plus 1, we multiply it by 1 minus the square root of 5 over 1 minus the square root of 5. And the same thing here. Sorry, this is here is 2 minus, right? This is negative here. So we have Or it's 1 minus the square root of 5, I believe. Yes, sorry. This is here is negative and here is positive. So when we want to rationalize it, we multiply it 1 plus the square root of 5 over 1 plus the square root of 5. So when I rationalize this one, I get 2 times 1 minus the square root of 5. When I multiply the bottom, I get 1 minus the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5. That gives me negative 4, because this is 1 minus 5, which is negative 4. And I reduce these two. I get minus 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. And the same thing here, I get 2 times 1 plus the square root of 5. And when I multiply the bottom, I get 1 minus 5, which is negative 4. And negative 4 and 2 will be reduced. We get negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So at last, we can write x minus 2 over x to the power 2 plus x minus 1 as 1 over 1 minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2x. And for this one, um, we can, so what I did was this goes in here. So I write that as 1 minus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2x. 
which is equal to 1 over 1 minus, we call this thy x, plus 1 over 1 minus, this is phi of x.